Would you believe that this city just looks so biblical and this was where Passion of the Christ, Ben-Hur and 007 No Time to Die were filmed? Matera, Italy. With the nickname City of Stones due to its unique architecture carved into limestone cliffs, the city has many ancient cave dwellings where some of the early human settlements in Italy have lived. Matera Sassi were declared a UNESCO's World Heritage Site in 1993 and today we are witnessing it with our own eyes. Okay, so check this place out. We are here in Matera in Italy and this place was actually an embarrassment, believe it or not, an embarrassment to Italy until about 1960 to 1970 when they started to move the inhabitants of Matera to proper places to live in because before 1960, due to an extreme poverty, they didn't have water they lived in rocks, literally, they lived in caves I haven't even been here for half an hour so far but I think the first impression within 30 minutes is it's really rocky as you can see, all the steps it almost looks like a place where you would find in movies like Game of Thrones straight away this is <laughs> this right now looks like the walk where what was her name the queen where she walked down the steps naked walk of shame 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 but I wonder if there were any other movies that were filmed here check this lovely Photoshop out <laughs> You got the beautiful thing, and voila, there he is. <laughs> Look at that Photoshop. <laughs> wow, check this view out. It's not necessarily Grand Canyon, but it's just nice. Right, so we keep on following this trail, and it's gonna loop around the whole half of the city. Honestly. It's, it's pretty wild because one side of the city is like just complete full of stones and the other side is it's like a cliff look at this right so so different Got a whole bunch of caves over there all throughout the right all throughout the rocks Guys, check this out. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's grim. I think, oh, that's stink. that stinks as well. I think someone used to live in there. <sighs> oh, probably homeless. Oh, check this one out. That's pretty cool. Ooh, tree? Nope. A tree man. They're making out. Oh, they're olives. The question is, are they trees becoming men and women, or women and men becoming trees? Because if it's the latter, can't suck. I'll pay my card. Check this kitchen out. Big bed, massive thing. They used to have a horse in the house. I tell you what, this is quite nice. It's lovely in here. I wonder how much the rent is. If the caves are like this, I'd live here. It's lovely. You're well happy living in here. Oh wow. So they used to keep snow here, just like this. You collect the snow in layers, so, so it doesn't melt, maybe. It's not a beautiful place, but it's a cool place. It's definitely worth the visit, probably about two days. I think one day might be just a little too short. Maybe even two days actually, because there's, the, there's a whole other side where you can go for a little hike and see the actual caves where people, old people used to live in. Um, but I'm not gonna get to do that today because we're going to a different place. But 
yeah very cool place it just looks so much better with the weather being much clearer today a lot warmer a lot warmer it's not a place you'd want to live though all right so welcome to the official day two of here in Matera we just checked out over our place and we're actually on our way to check this system out where they used to collect water all they had was a massive well for everyone so we're just gonna check that place out before we head to our next place which is Monopoly we found it just got here so apparently down here is where they used to capture all the water for everyone to share but first we gotta buy this ticket to enter which is three euros whoa massive in here jeez yeah you're right there's a lot of water down here quite cool it's pretty steep ah oh, this is a proper cave isn't it it's like a giant cavern entirely man-made You can capture 5 million litres of water. Wow. 16 metres deep and 50 metres long. 16 metres deep. 50 metres long. 50 metres long. Wow. It's massive. The reason it's shaped so weird is because there were a lot of pre-existing caves combined. So ah. Whoa. Look at wow. the water. Wow, there's still loads of water coming down as well. Yeah. Is the water dropping now from the top? And this is the largest one in town. So I wonder how much water they have now and then what it would look like at full capacity. I wonder how high it would go. You know what I mean? Obviously it's very dry right now. That's, that's not much water down there. Right, so apparently this place has got a funny kind of shape to it because it's all kinds of different caves kind of put together. I don't have much more information than that. But, but yeah, it's still pretty cool how they used to keep water down here. 91. 1991, this place was full of water. So 1991, this place was still full of water. So they had to send scuba divers. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so check that out. That's here, 1991, when the water was still very deep. And they had to send scuba divers. Okay, can I only help my backpacks? Jesus. All right, so let's get to our next destination where we have to go through Bari one more time and transfer to Monopoly. It's like every bottle that you open, right? The cap just seems to be intact all the time. Well, they do that so you don't lose it. I hate it. Oh, you see, you see that? It's right? perfect. So now, so now it's here. Look at that. My loop. It's, it's not good. I had a drink. This, Frank complains about everything. It's stupid. Stupid design. here in Italy and from there I am off to a different country where I do not know just yet however if you haven't seen my Germany video my Munich video make sure to watch it it's either here or there and just like that video I'll be going to different cities or different countries to complete different tasks or challenges that my friends give me or it could be you you give me those challenges I have some exciting locations to visit or you could be telling me where to go to complete what kind of tasks or, or you could be telling me where to go to complete what kind of challenges. It's up to you. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment and like this video and I'll see you next time.